Welcome everybody, welcome to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and you can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And in this video, I've got these fellows here and I've been using them for a week or two now, the AirPods third generation, and I am going to be comparing them against the AirPods second generation with the wireless charging case. So, no more uh, introductions, let's just dive into this thing. Starting off with the case of the new third generation AirPods. As you can tell, it has this new design. It's a little bit of a combination of the second generation AirPods case and the AirPods Pro. It's a little wider than the regular AirPods case, but it's also a little bit shorter. And it's pretty much the same thickness. It still charges with lightning at the bottom, and yes, it works with wireless chargers. But new this time around is that the third generation AirPods now fully support MagSafe. And by that, I mean there's a new ring of magnets hidden in the back of this. So if you have a MagSafe charger, you can go ahead and set this on there and it'll properly align itself perfectly in the center, which is helpful for making sure you're getting good wireless charging speeds, but more so if you have any vertical MagSafe chargers. I have a ton of stands around my house. There's Belkin ones, there's the ones from Native Union that you see a lot, Nomad ones. There's a lot of vertical MagSafe chargers. But with this MagSafe uh, magnets in there, you can just bring your AirPods 3 near them and set it on there and it'll hold up. So you can now use your AirPods 3, with any vertical MagSafe chargers as well as flat MagSafe chargers and any wireless chargers that you have. So that is another difference here, just a little difference between the cases of the AirPods 3 and the AirPods 2. Let's bust these things open and check out how the earbuds themselves have evolved. The new AirPods 3, again, look a little bit like AirPods Pro as well as the regular AirPods. They have a shorter squatter design and they've adopted the four stems for control rather than the tapping gestures of AirPods 2. They don't have the silicone ear tips of the AirPods Pro, so they still just go into your ear, but they're a little bit more bulbous now and they fit into your ear a little bit better, but it really depends on the person. For me, AirPods 2 actually sat in here really nice, but the stem looked a little awkward and then if we go to the new airpods 3 they just don't sit in quite like my ears are like too small they're like just a little too big for me they hold in well enough i can run around and i'm probably fine with them in there if i tilt too much i can probably get them to to kind of pop out but the fit just doesn't feel as good for me personally it's definitely going to be a person by person basis but yes a new fit to these now one feature that is unique to the airpods 3 that no other airpods have is a new skin detection sensor so regular airpods even airpods pro have these sensors that determine whether or not they're in your ear and it's basically just a kind of a proximity sensor and it would get triggered inadvertently if you would throw your airpods in your pocket or some other small location where it would get in close contact with something. This new skin detection sensor is a bit more accurate, so it's not going to inadvertently start playing audio just because you dropped your AirPods 3 in your pocket. It'll really just detect whether or not they're in your ear. And if they are, they'll start playing again, and as you remove, they'll go ahead and pause your content for you. The new AirPods 3 have improved resistance. They now have IPX4 water and dust resistance here, which make them pretty good for most usual activities. It's the same rating as AirPods Pro, so you can just go ahead and wear these to the gym and everything like that without having to worry about dust or even a light rain damaging them. I honestly have never had problems with my regular AirPods in those situations, but Apple wasn't advertising them for that. They did not pledge that IPX4 resistance like they did for the AirPods Pros. So I'm glad for them to kind of formalize it here with the AirPods 3. As for the sound of the new AirPods 3, it's definitely better. I mean, just looking at these, you can see how much more space they take up. So it's unsurprising they are a little bit fuller and have more bass. And as you get towards the highs and you're increasing the volume, it doesn't get as tinny as I get with the regular AirPods. Regular AirPods, honestly, they just didn't have a great sound. No one ever claimed that AirPods sounded amazing. AirPods Pro sounds significantly better, and these are on the right track. They sound better than AirPods 2, but they're still not as bass heavy or as full and rich as AirPods Pro. There's probably better sounding earbuds in the same price range, but they do sound better than AirPods 2, and they're coming in at similar prices, so I can't really be too angry about that. Apple says they designed an all new acoustic system for the AirPods 3. 
And as I said, the audio does sound better, but it's doing it in a few different ways. Not only are there new drivers inside, but Apple has also brought adaptive EQ from the AirPods Pro to just these regular AirPods. Adaptive EQ is actually using inward facing microphone to listen to the audio in your ear and adjust it on the fly to how you hear it. That way what is going into your ear and the music that's being played is being played how it's intended to sound. It's a really cool little bit of computational audio. It works best with Apple Music, but it supports other music sources as well. Another change with AirPods 3 is Apple is now officially supporting spatial audio with head tracking. It's using these gyroscopes and motion detectors in the AirPods themselves to know where your head is facing. So if I'm sitting back and I'm watching a movie on my iPhone, my Mac, heck, even my Apple TV, I can actually have that audio fo following the source. So if my phone is here and I turn my head, the audio is still going to sound like it's coming from that direction. It's an amazingly cool feature, and Apple has introduced several spatial audio playlists on Apple Music, and third-party apps, including some uh, white noise apps, are starting to take advantage of this, and it's a really neat feature, but you're not always going to need it or notice it. It's really good, nice to have, but not a need to have by any means. These guys are powered by Apple's H1 chip, and they have improved battery life from the previous versions. In fact, these have some of the largest battery life on many of Apple's headphones. They can now get up to six hours on a single charge. And if you combine it with the case, I believe it's like 30 hours of combined total time. AirPods and AirPods Pro were only promising about 24 hours combined total time, and about four hours or so on a single listen of those earbuds. The last new feature to come to AirPods 3, and this is one of my favorites, is support for Find My, and full support for Find My, which means that these will show in the Find My app like they did before, but now you'll be able to get things like left behind alerts. So if I walk out of a restaurant and I leave these there, or I leave these in my locker at the gym, and I go to head home, I'm actually gonna get an alert that I left without them when they're no longer connected to my phone. I'll also be able to put them into lost mode and be able to take advantage of the larger Find My community of Apple devices out there to help me find these when I lose them. There's a lot of little tricks with Find My that I absolutely love, so I'm pretty excited to see those features coming to the new AirPods 3. The new AirPods 3 are available now, and honestly, I think these are a big step up from the regular AirPods, and for a lot of people, they're a good alternative to AirPods Pro. The only issue is because these are brand new, you're not really seeing any discounts on these yet, but AirPods Pro do get heavily discounted as low as $190. So AirPods are still available for $129. Then we have the new AirPods 3 for $179, then AirPods Pro for $249, and AirPods Max at $549. So these sit definitely in the middle. If you can find a set of AirPods Pro, they're not a bad grab at $190. But if you're looking just to save a little bit of money and you don't need the ANC offered by the AirPods Pro, the AirPods 3 are a great grab. These are definitely a step up from regular AirPods. I appreciate all the new features, including MagSafe, improved audio, and better battery life. Let me know what you guys think over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And if you'd like to grab a set of AirPods 3 or a set of AirPods, AirPods Pro, we've already started collecting the best deals as they become available and are updating them in the links down below in the description. Check you guys next time.